In this video, I'm going to show how to fit mixed effect model with random intercept using SPSS. Okay. And it, in order to perform mixed effect model, you need longitudinal formatted data. So let's open gross underscore long dot SAV. And we are going to compare if there is association between age and uh, dental growth measurement among 10 girls. So data for boys are unselected. So you go to, so we are going to fit uh, this model. So age as continuous variable, so we put the straight line within each patient. And we allow random effect only for intercept. Therefore, each patient share common slope and which capture patient individuality or between patient variation. And these intercepts are thought randomly distributed from normal distribution with mean and standard deviation estimated based on the data set. So to do that, we go to uh, mixed model and linear. Okay. And then today, we are not going to worry about coordination structure, okay? So we keep this blank. And we put ID under subject. And then the first dialog box asks what is a dependent variable. So dependent variable is growth. And today, we put the straight slope over age. So age is included as covariate. Previous example, we compare mean of growth measurement between different age. So that type of analysis, and we put age under factor. Okay, consider age as a categorical variable, but today SPSS consider age as continuous variable. Therefore, we compare slopes. And next, we click fixed button. So we don't allow random effect for age, uh, which is slope. Therefore, age is included as fixed effect. So we specify age under this box. Okay? And then click continue. And then you go to random effect box, which is this. Okay? Here. So click on this one and go to random effect box. And at first, we kept, we keep covariance type as default of variance component. And what this does is not, this is not the same as covariance type and we saw in the beginning of the dialog box. And this uh, allow coordination between intercept and slope. So in this model, we only have random intercept. Therefore, we don't have to worry about coordination. So whatever the choice in you use, this won't affect our analysis. Now we want to um, put create a random intercept for each patient. So you click on include intercept. Okay, and uh, age effect is considered only as a fixed effect. So you don't do anything with age. And then we do SPSS, and we want to have a patient ID in the random effect. So this actually link to. Uh, intercept option. So we have random intercept for each individual patient. So you specify ID under this box and then click continue. Right? And um, so this is what the model is predicting. So it allow different randoms uh, to disallow random intercept but slope kept the same. Okay? And result of mixed effect model is this. So 0.49 is um, annual rate of increase in dental growth measures. Okay, so why is that? Um, so this is a slope. So slope indicate increase in Y, which is growth measure, by one unit increase of age, and one unit, unit is one year. So that's why I call it average annual increase of growth measures. And which is 0.49 millimeter, okay? And which is statistically significant from zero. So therefore, we can say there is a positive association between age and growth measure. Okay, so let me do this in SPSS. 
so you go to this data set and go to mixed model linear and we don't have to worry about coordination uh, here so don't put anything and click continue and this part is the same as coordination model growth as a dependent age as a covariate and click fixed so age is included as a fixed effect and click on random so we set this to default which is variance components and then remove age from the model because we don't do random effect on slope and we just do random effect on intercept so click on include intercept and make sure ID is kept under a combinations box okay so move this one in here let me do it again to put ID in this box and continue and uh, if you want to see what the model is doing and click save and click predicted value button and click continue and OK. Uh, this table provides result of this random intercept model. And if you want to graphically show this, go to Chart Builder and click Line Option and put ID under Set Color and predicted value on Y axis, age as X axis. Okay, and you click OK. So now you see the model uh, use random intercept but kept the slope common over 10 curls. Okay, so this slope indicate 0.49 millimeter increase in every year as average, which was statistically significant from zero. And based on that, and it indicate uh, increasing age and increase dental growth measured. Right, so now we are going to compare this model with random intercept and random slopes model. And I'm not going to do random slopes only model because uh, random slope only model is this, which um, I don't think is realistic model. Okay, so uh, we are going to do next random intercept and slopes. slopes. Okay, so this part is the same and this part is the same. And the only difference is uh, the same as random s intercept model. But in order to introduce random slopes, all you do is change this covariance type to unstructured and then include age under the model so that we allow random effect on effective age, which is slopes. Okay, and let me do this in SPSS. Now we go to mixed model linear, keep everything the same, okay, except for random box. So we put age in here and we include random intercept and then change this to unstructured. Okay. So again, this covariance type is slightly different from um, covariance type we did in the correlation method and this is asking a correlation between repeated measures rather correlation between intercepts and slopes okay and let's click continue and click save because I want to see what model did and click predicted values and okay and uh, if you graphically want to show what the model did and change this to Pred 2, that's predictive value from the model we just ran, and click OK. So now you see uh, we have randomness, not just on intercept, but also on the slopes. And what this table, uh, result of mixed effect model is indicating is if uh, you introduce randomness on slope, in average slope, have a slope of 0.49 that means average annual increase of dental growth measurement is 0.49 millimeter and which was statistically significant okay so you may wonder which model you should be using okay so again we check AIC 
So uh, let's check AIC from both random intercept and slope model is 131.945 and from the model with only random intercept AIC is 132.39 and therefore we choose the model, model with smaller AIC. So this is our final model. Okay, so model with random slopes and random intercept is our final model. So we want the model with smaller AIC. Okay.